Hi guys, my name is Lawrence Baker. I'm an Adobe Certified Expert in Photoshop CC and Photoshop Lightroom 5. This video is about cropping and to a certain extent lens corrections because there is a relationship between the two. Let's get started. Right, we're inside lens corrections here. I'm not going to go into this tool with any depth whatsoever. I just want to show you the relationship between this tool and the crop tool. I'm going to go to manual and just do a bit of distortion here. There you go. Come up to crop. I can either press this tool, go to tools crop, or press R. I'm going to press R. Now, if I tick constraint to image, notice down below it's also ticked constrain crop. And that's the relationship really. It's saying don't go outside the crop, but it stops you from going outside the, the, the lens corrections bounds, so to speak. So I can't go outside of it, bang, I'm stopped. If I untick it, I can go outside of it. There you go. Um, my preferred route, if I was to use lens corrections, I only use it occasionally, especially where I've got um, a lot of vertical lines in a building, etc. I would always come to lens corrections first, then do my crop. Because you could end up messing with your crop by using some of the tools in the basic um, dialog box here. So be careful. I'm going to turn that off for now. So we've got no effect. I'm going to reset the crop. My first port, port of call would be to straighten this image. Now I could use auto. Um, let's give it a go. There's a relatively new enhancement. And it's done absolutely nothing. I've got the grid on here and you can see I'm dipping over to the right and it's not actually done anything. Um, no. Not at all. So my next port of call would be the double headed arrow, which is if you bring your cursor outside the crop box, you've got this double headed arrow here. I'll try and straighten by eye. It's more intuitive than using the angle tool, which is my last port of call because I find it a bit awkward to use with a tablet, which I'm using at the moment. So there you go. Uh, I, I could keep playing around with it. Um, until I got it right of course that's not bad so I can use it but I use my eye and the double headed arrow tool mainly um, I'm going to reset again I'm going to keep resetting guys because it makes life easier I could now just crop like this by dragging one of the corners in or dragging the middle slot um, bit in like this I could come into the middle and use the hand tool and move it around like so but with the padlock locked, I'll always stay to the original aspect ratio. The minute I unlock it, I can change it. So by going like this. And that's why you that, notice that's changed the custom there. So remember that. I would probably use either aspect or this method by coming from the outside with the padlock unlocked. It gives you more flexibility. I can't see any reason why you want to keep your aspect ratio because it's given to you by the camera. Pixel dimensions, so use it unlocked. That's my tip. Um, the other way of doing it, I'm going to reset again, is by using the aspect tool and that allow you to draw or drag inside the image and create the box yourself, which is also very good. Again, with the padlock locked, you're stuck with the original ratio. Unlocked, you're not. Very straightforward. Again, move it around with the hand to the part of the image you want. I'm going to reset again, guys. Um, the other thing to talk about now is the overlay. This is currently set to grid. Now, if I want to change it, I can go to Tools, Crop Guide Overlay, and change it here. Let's say to thirds, which is the rule of thirds. Or I can press O. Please remember O, it's much quicker. Now, I can cycle through the overlays, like so. And whilst I'm on the subject, I can also press X to change the aspect ratio of the crop box from landscape to portrait and vice versa. But anyway, I'm going to reset it again. So pressing O will take you through. I believe that's diagonal, that's triangle, that's golden ratio. It's like the rule of thirds, but a slightly narrower middle bit, middle section. That's the golden spiral. I use that and you can uh, change the orientation of it. But if your subject was there, there's a certain amount of design principles behind it, actually proven with science, but I find it 
quite good. That and the rule of thirds, or this and the rule of thirds, to be uh, the best. Um, I, I do mainly landscapes, so I do rule of thirds a lot, but I do use the golden spiral, when, especially when I've got a subject in the foreground. Now, to cycle through this tool, its orientation, you can choose cycle grid overlay orientation. It also works on some other overlays, but if you press Shift and O, which is the easiest way of doing it, you can see it moving around the screen. So that's one way to change it and to crop to that. Um, the other overlay is this one here. It's fixed ratios. I don't particularly like it, but it's there to be shown. I'm going to show it. Um, you can choose the aspect ratios that get shown by ticking these boxes here. And they're, they're done to set paper sizes, etc. So they're quite useful. The only problem I have with them is this. Once I come and do the crop by dragging in like this with the aspect ratio, I then have to double click one of these for it to crop. Now let's say I do the four to three. I think that's about right. Double click. And it's done the crop for me. I'm pushed out the crop tool. Um, I don't like it. it. It removes the flexibility for me, but it's there to be used. So I'm now going to have to go into the crop tool by pressing R or this icon here. I'm going to reset it. As I say, it's there to be used and you can change the orientation, I said, from landscape to portrait by pressing X. But my favourite one is the rule of thirds and I use that mainly. I'm going to reset again, guys. Um, there's my rule of thirds. I can't think there's much else I can really show you here with the crop guide overlay. Um, it, you can choose which overlays to, cy to cycle through. Um, I've never used diagonal or triangle to crop an image. I'm sure there's some kind of science behind it. Um, I might read up on that, but for me, it's hardly ever, I've never used it. Um, so I'm going to cancel that. The, the only thing I can really think of now is the setting your own ratios. Now, everything above Enter Custom ships with Lightroom. It's almost like the ones I've just shown you on screen. So if I was to do paper size, I would probably come to this one first. 8.5 times 11, or 8.5 ratio to 11, is standard A4 paper size in Europe. So it's a standard paper you see in your printer. Crop to that. It's done the, it's done the, oh, actually hasn't done the crop because I didn't click on it properly, sorry guys. Um, there you go. So that's, if you kept playing with that and bring it inwards, you'll keep the, that ratio. Um, I'm going to reset again. Personally, I set my crops up here by using Enter Custom. It only remembers the last five, so that's important to remember. But as I use two to one so much, it's normally there for me. So I'm going to use two to one now. And I'm in the rule of thirds. And all I want to do now is drag up to the sky is there. The sea is mainly in the middle and the boulders are in the foreground. So it's almost too easy. And all you've got to do with this crop tool is press return and you've done your crop. I hope I covered everything guys. I hope you found this useful. I've got many more videos to come using this image um, as an example, a guinea pig. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you.